Hi, I'm certainly glad you could join me today. You ready to do a fantastic little painting? This is such a super day. Let's do a super little painting. And I thought today we'd do something that's very simple. We'll use a limited palette, and I think you'll enjoy it. I have a black canvas up here today, as you can see, and we make these black canvases by coating them with black gesso, and that just turns it nice and black, and it's all ready to go. On top of that, I've added a thin, even coat all over the canvas of sap green. Then around the edges here on the four corners, I've put just a little touch of Van Dyke Brown, so, so the corners are a little darker. Okay, let's just have some fun. I thought today maybe we'd do a little scene. Let's do a little swamp-like scene, you know, where you have a lot of trees in the background that you can't really define, but they're just there. Let's just do it. What the heck? I want to use a fan brush a lot today. By the time you do this painting, you'll be an expert with the old fan brush. So let's just take a small, small amount of the cad yellow. Just a small amount. Don't need much paint. And just put a little on the bristles, okay? Now, as I mentioned earlier, we have the sap green up here. Now let's have them run all the colors across the screen so you'll know what I'm doing here. While they're doing that, let's go on up here and get started. I almost forgot to tell you the colors today. You'd have been upset with me. Now, using just the corner of the fan brush, I just want to take, and just barely touching the canvas, and just begin, all we're doing here is just sort of rubbing, just rubbing. There. And just begin creating some basic little tree and bush shapes here. And we're just looking for very basic little shapes. Let the bristles sort of move and bend and there. These are far away and we're not looking for a lot of detail. And if they get, if they get a little too bright, we can take the large brush and just rub them and they'll go away. There. But this is continually mixing with a green that's underneath. So you get all of these beautiful, dark, misty looking colors. I like to do these kind of little scenes. All right. Just a little touch more yellow. And we just continually, continually sort of look and just sort of hunt out these little rascals. There. And maybe there's one way back here. It's just really barely can see. These black canvases are so fantastic. If you've never done one, they can be some of the most exciting things in this whole technique. There we go. See there? With very little effort already, you're beginning to see just all kinds of little things back here. Little happy things. It's all kind of little creatures live back here. There, little squirrels and rabbits. And if this was in Florida or Georgia, somewhere down there, it might be an alligator or two hid back here. When I was a kid, I had a pet alligator. I don't know if you ever make a pet out of an alligator, but I had an alligator that lived with me. Let's put it that way. And I fed him every day. And every day he bit me. <laughs> One thing about alligators, I don't think you can ever make a pet out of them. I finally turned him loose, and he still wanted to bite me. There we go. Just using the old corner of the fan brush, that's all we're doing. And we can make the indication of just tons and tons of trees and bushes. Then we're going to put some things in front of these. So keep these pretty dark when you're doing yours. Don't let them get too bright on you against this black canvas, color stands out so strong. Very quickly, it can get too bright. And once again, should that happen, just take your large brush and very gently just go over it. And it'll dull the color because it'll mix with that green that's underneath. There we go. As I say, I was born and raised in Florida. And I was born in Daytona Beach and lived around Orlando most of my life. And back in those days, people thought Orlando would, would never amount to anything but just a swamp. And now it's one of the most fantastic cities in Florida. And Disney World's there, and mm, super place to go now. There. And I, my mother still lives there. Shoot, she likes it there. She likes these kind of scenes, too. There we go. And just on and on here, just however many bushes and trees that you want in your world. Just drop them in. But just want you to see how easy it is to do this, just using a fan brush. And all we're doing is using the corner and just sort of scrubbing it. And when you push, that's where those highlights come from. Can you see how that works? When you push upward, there you go. That's where it happens. There. 
And maybe down in here, there's some little ones. Has to be little bushes if there's gonna be big bushes. There we go, there we go. All kinds of little rascals. Maybe another one right in there. You just make the decision. This is your world, and you have to decide where everything is in it. Okay, now then. See, once again, if you wanted to dull this down, if it was a little too bright for you, just take your large brush and one hair in some air. You're just barely touching it and just go over it. Just like so. Just barely, barely caress it. And you can bring this all together. There. See? And the more you do this, the darker it'll become because once again, it's picking up that color that's underneath and you're blending them together. There. Okay, now then, we could take our liner brush, go into a little paint thinner, and I'm going to a touch of the, little touch of the Van Dyke Brown, and just mix this until it's almost like ink. It's very, very thin, very thin. Turn that brush, this liner brush has long bristles, holds a lot of paint in those bristles, okay? Now then, here and there, you just sort of look at it and put in an indication of just a few little little limbs and sticks and all kinds of happy little things that live out in here. You need some trunks for some of these little trees and stuff. Some of them you can't see. There. Just here and there, wherever you want them. Isn't that fantastic? You can create a whole swamp, whole forest that easy. This does not necessarily have to be a swamp. It could be a beautiful forest out here and you'd have basically the same effect. There. Just drop them in. And if you have trouble making this paint flow, add a little more of the paint thinner. This thin paint will just literally slide right over the canvas. But if, it, if it's not working, chances are, chances are, you don't have quite enough paint thinner into your paint. So just add a little. Okay, I'm gonna take some Van Dyke Brown. A little dark sand in there too. Let's just pull it out very flat here on the palette. Just sort of mix it together. Grab a little white and throw in there too. So we got Van Dyke Brown, Dark Sienna, and a little white. Pull it out very flat and then cut across to get that little roll of paint on the knife. That little roll of paint will really pay you big dividends. Now then, just sort of look at your, your painting here and decide where there would be some land. And maybe the land lives oh, right in there, wherever you want it, wherever. There we go. And all we're doing here is just sort of scrubbing this on. There, look at all them little rascals. All kinds of little things happening. Little raccoons and the, the old possums and stuff all live up in here. And they've got to have a little place to sit here. The, all the water birds come and catch them a minnow. And it, it helps when you're doing these kind of things, make up little stories in your mind. I'll tell you what, maybe under here, let's put a few little reflections. Now that we have our land areas defined, so I'll just take a little yellow on the brush. Now then, decide where your reflections are gonna be into the water, grab it and pull straight down. And get a little of that brown into it. This, usually if it's a swampy area, it's not very deep very shallow, so you get a lot of mud. And if you want to highlight that, every once in a while you can take a little touch of the titanium white, just sparkle it. Not much though, get too bright on you. There. Get too bright too quick. Now very lightly, come across. See there, instant reflections. Okay, so on the other side, I'll get a little touch more of the yellow. And let's go right over here and just drop those in. That easy. There we go. Pull straight down. When you're doing these reflections, be sure you pull them straight down. It's most important they come straight down. Hmm. Oh, green water. Boy, that's pretty. I like it. Just alive with algae and all kinds of creatures. This is where this is where the whole ecology, the whole 
ecosystem starts is right here in these little swamps. There. Now then. Put back some of the land masses. There we go. If this is your first time painting in this technique, these little black canvases, try one of them. I think you'll find that they work so well. Oh, they'll get you hooked. They'll work so well, you just, you'll get hooked on this. And it's easy to do. It's easy to do. We tell people sometimes we're like, we're like drug dealers. We, we come into town and get people absolutely addicted to painting. And it doesn't take too much to get you addicted. Here, I've added a little white to my color. And just highlight here and there. Because painting is fun. It's it does nice things to you. And it doesn't hurt anybody. Everybody's happy. And it brings a lot of joy to people, whether you whether you're doing the painting or whether you give your paintings or sell your paintings to other people. It makes them happy. And we need more of that. A little more of the yellow here. Just same old yellow back on the fan brush and just but not much paint. Not too much paint. Now that Let's bring some happy little bushes. Just use a corner of the brush. And we'll bring some little bushes that live right out here. And come right on down like that. See them? There they are. And just wiggle that brush. See, let them come right on down into the land. There they go. There. This is one of the most simple and effective ways I've ever seen of making a lot of happy little bushy areas. And it works. Look at that. See how deep it looks back in there? Boy, that's, there's a booger hides back in there, I'll tell you. Yes, sir. That's, there's a big alligator lives in there. He'd hide back in there. There we go. Just put in some little pushes. Maybe there's one that lives right there, wherever you want them. There's one. All you're doing is just sort of wiggling the brush. We just wiggle the brush. Let these things just sort of happen. People write and tell me sometimes they, they say, I'm, I got a little nervous twitch and I, I can't paint. If you, have, if you have a little shake to your hands, you're ahead of the rest of us here. It will really help you. I talk too much. Let me paint here. Let's take some yellow, a little bit of cadmium yellow. And I'm just going to get that little roll of paint right out on the edge of the knife, okay? Now then, let's just take that and just sort of here and there put in some happy little water lines. Now all I'm doing is touching the canvas. Just touch the canvas. The canvas will pull off what it wants. Just touch. There, see? And maybe there's some things laying out here in the water. There they are. There they are. Okay, let's go back over here. We need a little touch here and here. Mm. And fun little painting. These are the kind of little paintings though, that just, they really just make you happy. There. And if one gets too bright, just rub it a little bit and it'll blend right in. Once again, you have that color underneath, that base color, and you can just, move things. You can create all kinds of beautiful illusions. I'll tell you what, while I got this old knife going, maybe, take some more of our brown, dark sienna, a little bit of, a little bit of titanium white, maybe a little touch more white. Yeah, that's nice. Cut across and get our little roll of paint again. I know you get tired of hearing that. Maybe there's a little island floats out here. So first we'll just put in a little bit of a little bit of dirt. We'll just decide where our little island lives. Maybe he is. Yep, you're right, right there. Take a little touch of the brown and white into that. We'll add at least a little touch of highlight. There. Now then, let's go back to our fan brush. Put a little more of the yellow in it. Once in a while, you can reach over here and get the least little touch of the yellow ochre. 
just a tiny bit, tiniest little bit. Okay, maybe there's a happy little bush that lives out here. So let's put him in. There he is. Just sort of scrub him on. And you can have as many or as few as you want. Now when you're putting this base color on, the sap green underneath, when you put that on, try to put just a thin coat. You'll find that's the most difficult part of this painting. The paint is very dry and very firm. It's, <laughs> you'll have one big arm from scrubbing it on. But just a thin coat. Don't, don't let it too much get on there. Otherwise, every time you put any yellow on here, all that'll happen is it turns bright green on you. And that's all right, but sometimes you want to retain some color. So just a nice, thin, even little coat. That's all you're looking for. Okay. Now then, back to our cadmium yellow on the knife, and we'll just add a little bit underneath here to sort of set that down in the water. Tell you what let's do. Let's put a little reflection under this. That'll sparkle it up a little. Right underneath, pull it straight down. Mm, look at that, look at that. Just a little, and then come lightly across. There. See, and have an instant reflection. Okay, then we'll bring some more of these right over the top. There we go. Super. Mm. Okay. Now maybe, maybe in our world, yeah, let's get crazy. What the heck? You have to have some fun. Take, just take your knife and maybe there's some land that lives right here. Just a little land that lives there, wherever you want it. Wherever you want it. A little bit of a lighter color, just for a touch of highlight here and there. Don't want too much. Just a touch. Okay, now then, back into our yellow. I want this to be a little darker, so I'm gonna add a little sap green down here too. I want it to be a little more into the greenish color. In the foreground here, we'll have it a little darker. A little darker. Okay, let's go back up there. Now then, let's sort of decide, and maybe, yep, there lives a nice, happy little bush right here. Just the corner of the fan brush, and just scrub him. Just sort of let it bounce around and play. And he's got a little friend here. Wherever there's another one. Just all kinds of little things. Maybe out in here, some more. There you go. Over in here, there's one. And these little bushes are fun to make. You just won't believe how easy they just jump right off that fan brush. There we go. Leave some dark areas in here. See, those little dark areas are what separates the individual bushes and, and creates depth and distance in that son of a gun. Tell you what, let's have a big tree. I'm just gonna take some Van Dyke Brown. Let's have some fun here. Van Dyke Brown, get over here and get some dark sienna. Just load it on the fan brush. A lot of paint. Maybe on this little island here lives a happy tree. Sure does now. There he is. See, just put his trunk in. Let's give him a friend. Give him a little friend. There we go. Don't want him to get lonely. And we can take we'll take a little touch of the white with a little teeny amount of dark sienna. Cut across, get our little roll of paint. And let's just put the indication of a little highlight on the side of this tree. Just here and there. Just a little. There it is. See? Okay. 
Take my liner brush, paint thinner on it, thin like ink. Turn them, turn those bristles in there. Pull it out, and let's put the indication of a happy little tree limb here and there. Just a few. We're gonna put some, let's put some leaves on this tree. Some nice foliage living back here. Okay, there we go. Now, I believe we can also use the fan brush and create some nice foliage on that tree using the same basic technique. Go right back into my yellow, load the bristles. Okay, let's go up in here. Now, decide where this son of a gun is and let's just throw on some quick little, see? Just some little indications here and there. All kinds of little leaves and limbs that live out here. Just using the corner of that fan brush. Just let that rascal just sort of shake and play. And shake and bake, there we go. There it go. Isn't that a fantastic way of making a nice little tree? Put a little out here. A little more right in there. There, isn't that easy? We've got a nice little tree. You might want to come down in here and put a little bit around the bottom of this tree, and that brings it all together. Now then, you know me. <laughs> I like those big trees, so let's have a big tree over here. Go right into straight Van Dyke Brown, and I'm gonna load a roll of paint on the knife. There we go, you can see it, okay. Now make a big decision. Your tree's gonna live, it's gonna live, and we check you out for bravery. This is your bravery test. This is your bravery test. A little, little more paint. Maybe there's a big bend in the tree and it, ah. Uh, see. Oh boy, that tree's had a rough old life out here. There we go. All the creatures and stuff have climbed this tree and looked out over the swamp. And, this old tree could talk where well, he could tell you some stories. Okay, now then, I'm gonna take some white, 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 dark sienna. Pull it out very flat, cut across, and once again, that little roll of paint. I know you get tired of seeing that, but pull it out, cut across. That's all there is to it. And with that, let's just take gentle touch. If you've painted with me before and put snow on the mountains, this is the same thing. Just sort of let it break and follow that old tree right on down. Right on down. Maybe the least little touch of red over here. Reddish color would, see how it brightens it right all up. Mm. Can make a beautiful tree just using your knife. Now on the other side, just to show a little reflected light. I'm gonna take the least, least little touch of Prussian blue and white. And almost no white in it, I want it very dark. Just to show a little reflected light and drop right on the other side here. And then sort of bring them together, just tapping. Okay. You can just use a little more brown now and just work these colors together. And it makes a big old tree that really looks gnarly. I hope that's a word, gnarly. <laughs> you know what I mean. Sometimes I'm very guilty of just making up words. Gnarly, that's a good sounding word though. Okay, back to my liner brush. Let's put a few arms on this tree. Then paint, there we go. Just a big old arm on that son of a gun. There. As I say, when I was a kid, I had a pet alligator, and I had all kinds of weird pets. Even even had an armadillo one time, put in my dad's carport, or uh, in his little workshop house. It tore up everything in there. Boy, he got me. Whew. Armadillo's strong. If you don't know what an armadillo is, it's one of them little creatures that live in a shell, 
He carries his little house around with him. There we go. They're all over the south. Just harmless and cute as they can be. There, got a few little limbs out there. And maybe, 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 go back to my fan brush. Let's load some more of the candy yellow, a little touch of the yellow ochre. And let's go back up here. And let's put a few happy little leaves out here on this tree. Still just rubbing and scrubbing. That's all we're doing. No pressure, Harley. Just barely, 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 barely let the brush touch the canvas. Just let it sort of graze. Just let it barely touch and have fun. See there? All kinds of happy little things. And in your world, you decide how many leaves and bushes and stuff there are and drop them in. Maybe there's a few out here. And this old limb out maybe it maybe it's dead. Shoot, it's it's resting. I tell you what, I think we have a painting. It's about ready for a signature. Let's take a little bit of red and let's sign this little painting. We'll sign it right down here. I certainly hope you've enjoyed it. It'll show you some fantastic ways of using the black gesso and I know that you'll have fun doing it. So until next time, from all of us here, happy painting and God bless.